Welcome and Merry Christmas from our house to yours. This morning we're starting off a little bit differently for morning prayer. It's Christmas morning, it's a celebration. And what's a celebration without some beautiful music? Furthermore, what a beautiful way to celebrate Christmas morning than with a song entitled, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Emmanuel does mean, after all, God is with us. And God is certainly with us this morning and forevermore. to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To us a child is born. O come, let us worship. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O come, let us worship. Together we will pray the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. 
Let us come before the Lord's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In the Lord's hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are God's also. The sea is God's, for God made it, and the Lord's hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture, and the sheep of God's hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to God's voice. To us a child is born. Oh, come. Let us worship. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O come, let us worship. Our first reading for this morning, Christmas morning, is taken from the second book of Samuel. Now when the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See now, I am living in a house of cedar but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Whenever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel, whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep to be prince over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth, and I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them, so that they may live in their own place and be disturbed no more and evildoers shall afflict them no more, as formerly from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your ancestors, I will raise up your offspring after you, who shall come forth from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. When he commit, commits iniquity, I will punish him with a rod such as mortals use, with blows inflicted by human beings. But I will not take my steadfast love from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before you. Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure before, forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The psalm appointed for Christmas morning is Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless God's name. Tell of the Lord's salvation from day to day. De declare God's glory among the nations, the Lord's marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. The Lord is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before God. Strength and beauty are in the Lord's sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. 
Ascribe to the Lord the glory due God's name. Bring an offering and come into the Lord's courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before God, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. The Lord will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult in everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord. For God is coming. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. God will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with God's truth. Glory, Glory be to the, to the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Cleoninius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee in Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. When they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, watching over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about the child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. What child is
Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We invite you now to assume whichever posture you find most prayerful for the prayers of the people. God of unimaginable love, on the first Christmas you became one of us. We celebrate your love for every person, in every place and every time. God of all humanity, you offered your peace to anyone who would be satisfied with your presence. We celebrate your peace in your church and accept your commission to share it in all the world. God of the shepherds, you announce your arrival among us to the poorest, the most humble. We celebrate your good news to each of us and to everyone, right here, wherever we are. God of the manger, you came to us through your Son in a small and simple place. We celebrate your presence with us this day in this small place made glorious by your being in it. God of deliverance, you came to be one of us in order to deliver all of us. We celebrate your protection and mercy towards all who are sick or in trouble. God of birth, when you became as we are, you opened yourself to each of us, no matter who or what we are. We celebrate this day your kingdom, and that we are welcome in it right now and always. Keep us close, now and in the life to come. God of Christmas, bless us as we once again celebrate your coming into your creation. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the collect of the day. Almighty God, you wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored our human nature. May we share the divine life of your Son, Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity and now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Together, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the blessings of Christmas be with you. May the Christ child light your way. May God's holy angels guide you and keep you safe each day. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us for morning prayer this Christmas morning. But before we leave, I think it's best that we sing a joyful hymn together. And don't worry, we're not going to sing, but we have a pre-recorded singing for you. So from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. 